So you go all the way down there to the bay. Yeah, unfortunately this isn't really my neighborhood. I don't know much about The only time we come to Little Falls is down. You want another seltzer? No. Just for that? I showed you in this. You like that? <laughs> that heavy swallow. Probably set. Oh, it's got a new flavor. It's got a new flavor on the uh, sparkling water. It's like chocolate. What is it? Grape. Wow. I don't have grape, but she had weird, coconut. Weird taste. Have you tried the coconut? No. Well, they, get, they came out with new ones. Mint. Mint. Um, I don't know about mint. Watermelon, cucumber. Watermelon's good. Cucumber. Watermelon, cucumber. I haven't had watermelon cucumber, but watermelon and Watermelon good. cucumber together, not separate. No, I know. I haven't had that one yet. I, I, I haven't had anything cucumber. I've had watermelon. That's good. Yeah. I've had the, um, um, the grapefruit. That's pretty good. I've had, like, the cranberry, the lime, the whatever. Um, but she just got one for coconut, right? Shop right coconut salsa. She likes it. She was like, mm, I'm going to get more of these. Really? Yeah. She bought, like, five bottles, six bottles. I think they're out of sale, three for a dollar at ShopRite. Yeah. You ever go to Walmart? Walmart. I go to ShopRite or Walmart? Walmart or ShopRite? ShopRite or Walmart? Walmart has good bread. I don't go, I don't go to Walmart for food. It's usually maybe clothes yeah. item or something. You like rye bread? Rye? Yeah. ShopRite, yeah, Walmart has a good rye bread. And it's like $2.50, right? So we always go to get our bread, and I'm not even Jewish or anything, you know, <laughs> but the bread is good. And it's it's like, you used to get like wheat bread and whatever, but it's all the same. None of it's really better than the other. Well, you know. But we like the rye bread. In fact, I went to Walmart not too, not too long ago. I got my chair, my yeah. busted, finally went, whole thing went. Why did you buy one at York sale? You buy one at the Meadowlands, they can charge, they're going to charge Through the Meadowlands, right? not the Meadowlands. Right? You go, they're going to charge at least $10 to $12, yeah. right? You go over there, I pay like $15, I think. The one I want, the size yeah. I want, $5 more, I have it now, I don't have to but wait. But you can get them at yard sales for like yeah, three, two. Yeah, I know. They're not the right size. Basically. You know what it is? I'm always trying to save money. $5. I, said, I, got, I was telling you before, I got more stuff than um, bills. But I got more bills than money. That's what I was trying to save money. Oh, okay. So I'm always trying to save money. Finally. CDs are four dollars, you get three for ten. Okay? Finally, after the last three weeks, three weeks, finally the Good for you. Uh but how much is going last? I didn't pay my rent yet. And not long probably. I don't know. I hope it lasts forever. Um but I, I'm, I'm almost got my rent. I mean, I actually have my rent, but I got to take it out tomorrow, right? But then I have the credit card bills. They're 600 bucks, right? Then I have other bills. So right now, I have enough for my rent, and then I then I'm working on the credit card. <laughs> but I don't have to pay the credit card bills till la like next week. And I always go and pay them at the bank. I either pay early or at the last minute at the bank. Yeah. You know, when you go to pay uh, anything with cash now at the bank, they want to see your driver's license. They want to see your driver's license. Whenever you go and pay something at the bank, they want to see your driver's license. You pay. I went to my landlord, right? Because I was given, I wanted, I was looking for the rent in her bank account, right? But she went on vacation, so I, I had like about, I don't know, it was cash and check. So they're like, oh, actually, I had like 15 in check. They're like, oh, can we see your driver's license? I'm like, what? Right? I go, yeah, we need to see your driver's license because they're worried that like we're doing um. It's not really fraud, but we're like money laundering. I'm money laundering $1,500 into my, my landlord's bank account now. That's, that's how petty they've got, where they just have to check everything. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't have it. I'm like, I'm just putting money in someone else in a bank account. They're like, well, we're not allowed, which is probably BS. It's probably a rule the bank did or whatever. But so I'm like, fine. So I come back the next day with the license, right? But I'll never do it again. Now it'll only be a, a check, right? If I come back the next day with the license, right? And what they say to me, they say, go, oh, okay, good. Uh, now we need your social security. I'm like, are you out of your mind? I said, no, that's a deal breaker. I said, I'll come back tomorrow with a check 
because that, that's nuts. I'm not giving you my social security number. I don't care what. And they go, well, I'll just put it down as a customer. You can see. I said, yeah, put that down. Because who the hell is going to do that? Yeah, yes, bank. Here's my freaking social security number because I'm putting money in a bank account. Like, get out of here. That, 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 that happened, something like that happened to me a long time ago. I bought, John bought something for me. I don't know. It wasn't like five dollars, like maybe fifty or twenty dollars. I don't know. So he gives me a check. He gives me a check that was paid out to him or something. Oh so yeah. I had a sign. Yeah. It's like, well, you go to the bank. Don't give me money. All right, I go to the bank. You can go to the right. bank sometimes. You gotta take your fingerprints. Why? Why? Can you put it in your bank account? No, I know you can. No, no matter what you I don't know. It's so pathetic. I'm like, it was a fifty dollar check and I got a fingerprint, right? No, I don't want to do that. No, but I'm I'm telling you, I'm, I'm saying it was a fifty dollar check, right? And I got a fingerprint. It's like what do you need? DNA next? It's a fifty dollar check. Did it? No, I wouldn't do it. I mean, I, to be honest, I would do fingerprints because my fingerprints are already on record. Oh, I didn't, uh, yeah. most of record. Not for committing crimes. <laughs> you know, you don't know, like, somebody... No, I'll tell you why my fingerprints are on record. Anthony, oh, what's the thing? What's the set of parties? I know, oh, and then I can't oh, even murder anybody. Oh, okay. Right? This fingerprint is Anthony's fingerprint. No, I, 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 then I can't right. commit crimes. No, no. The reason my fingerprints are record is because I took the test to be a police officer uh, when I was like 18, and they fingerprinted that. So it's a, they're on record, at least in the world. I didn't want to be a cop. My parents were like, ooh, take your oh, test, take your test. Thing? Yeah, so I passed and everything, and they were like, okay, you can be a cop. I'm like, I don't want to be a cop. I'm not doing it. I just took the test hoping I would fail, so you would, wouldn't, wouldn't bother me, you know? I barely even tried. I went out drinking the night before, stood up late. I came in with a hangover. <laughs> I took the test and I passed. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. I was like, oh. I, I mean, you know, it's like when you take a test, you automatically try and get the answers right. You don't try and fail. You actually tried to test No, I didn't try and fail. I just didn't care about it. You know, I, I just like, I didn't like, I said, hey, yeah, that sounds right. This sounds right. Blah, blah, blah. I, like I said, I, I stood out late the night before. I went in, I'm like, ooh, I had a headache. You know what happened when I was like, you know, I don't know, this is school, I don't know if this Anyway, everybody was joking around in the class, right? And they said, well, you got to take this test. Wait, wait a second. He didn't say what kind of, they said, you have to take this test, all right? Here it, the woman even, they even tell you it was serious. If somebody came in, you got to take this test. So everybody's reading it. Oh, it says, what would you help a dying kid? Or, or go get an ice cream. <laughs> I ice cream. And I was doing that. I was putting the you probably got in a lot of trouble, right? And then I found out it was an IQ test. <laughs> oh man, I What's your IQ? Me. What's your IQ? Oh, it was low. Eleven. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, I got an ice cream. I mean, what did they tell us before? Well, now they make you take a bunch of tests so people get paid to give you tests. <laughs> you know? What they do is they have kids take tests now so they can fire teachers for not doing a good job. But it's not based on how good, well, the kids go. And then the teachers are going nuts, making the kids prepare for the test. And they're not teaching them anything but the stupid crap that's on the test. And, and then the kids are under all this pressure because the teachers are worried that um, if they don't, if the kids don't do well, the schools won't get money. You know, it's just terrible, you know? And who wants to do it? The people who sell the test. So somebody's making money because they're selling you tests, right? And making your kids take tests. And, and, but they're using it against the teachers and the kids. There's no foolproof way of finding out what the teacher doing. It doesn't matter. It's just, it, it really, it, what they but should I do had, had is a, they should do more aptitude and find out what the kids want to do instead of forcing them into it. I had a teacher, right? He was the husband of another teacher. Oh, good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, so large. Okay. This guy, this is class. This guy obviously, probably a car from here, and wife was a teacher. Right. This is what he was doing. Walk in there, okay, everybody sit down. I love it. Okay. Open up the geography book, read from uh, page uh, 70 to uh, 130. That was fine. Right. That was the whole time. And then he had a multiple choice test? And, uh, the test? Um, See, these are $4 or you get 3 for $10. Okay? 
test would probably quite I got a lot more over here, which you probably could. Oh, yeah, yeah. You probably had tests from the 54 and you probably used the same test.